I got it. All right, so we kind of surprised someone today. Can you come stand up here, Marnie Rohr? Yes, yes, for sure. So Marnie Rohr is going into the Just For Kicks Hall of Fame. Okay, so people kind of love Marnie. I don't know if you can tell, but people kind of love Marnie. And I'm gonna try to keep this together. I don't have very good notes. A lot of it's gonna be from the top of my head, but Marnie was in the first class I taught at the YMCA before we had Just For Kicks. Marnie's mom worked with my father, and it's kind of cool to have that connection. And um, he loved Doreen. And when, my, when I started the thing at the YMCA, my dad went and told Doreen, you gotta get your kid in this thing my daughter's starting. So she did. And Marnie came with her little light blue tights and light blue leotard on, and I remember it. She was six years old. And she was in my class. And a lot has happened then, since then. Um, in ninth grade, I, re I needed an assistant, and Marnie was kind of good. So I asked Doreen if we could get her out of school every day at 2.10. I picked her up at the Franklin Junior High, and she drove to Motley with me, and then Staples, and taught over there with me. We rode, she had no idea what a bad driver I am. <laughs> and we lived to tell. And um, Marnie became a captain of the Brainerd Warrior Dance Team, and she was lucky enough to be the captain the year that we honored, or we were honored to dance at the Tokyo Dome opening in Tokyo, Japan. And that was a pretty big deal. It really was. Um, she was assistant coach at Brainerd one year from 94 to 95. She was a 25-year staff member on our camp staff. She was an eight-year varsity, varsity. Well, I'm older. <laughs> and I'm still kicking. OK. Um, she was an eight-year varsity coach for the Austin High School dance team. She was a Minnesota Association of Dance Teams AA Assistant Coach of the Year in 2013. She was trained as an adjudicator for the Judges Association of Minnesota. I kind of slurred that. And, and for Just for Kicks, so she's a trained judge. She's a choreographer for our Just for Kicks program. She's one of our great choreographers. She was a former director of the Little Falls and Pillager Just for Kicks programs. She, w <laughs> she was director for the Austin Just for Kicks program from 95 to 2019. She was Just for Kicks director of the year in 1998. And she, <laughs> sorry. <laughs> You guys, you know what's funny when you get kind of old? Somebody said to me they've been, they've been doing this for so long, it was so long ago, I go, that doesn't seem long at all. It was like in 2000, I'm like, that was our new Champlin director. I'm going, that's not that long ago. In the scheme of things, you know. Um, field coordinator for Just For Kicks, she oversees 46 programs from 95 to present. So, we used to have a director in Austin that had a couple programs down there, and she directed Austin. And she quit on us. And this is when we were pretty young. I bet we were, I don't know, 30, I don't know, 30. Marnie was about 24, 25, and Scott. And we asked them to go out to dinner one night at Pauline's Restaurant in Brainerd. And it doesn't exist anymore. But we asked them if they would ever take a leap of faith and move to Austin, Minnesota to take over that program. I think you were what? How old? 25. She had a five-year-old and a four-year-old and a five-year-old and decided to up and move her family down to Austin to take over this program. And kind of... Actually, the first thing I said was, where is that? <laughs> she didn't know it was the home of the Spam Jam. So, things I love about Marnie are hard to put in words, but so easy to see. She is, 
she has a personality of calmness. If I ever need a level head to run something by, Marnie's my person. Marnie's my person. Um, Marnie is Marnie. She's genuine. You get what you get, and she's just is what she is, and it's a beautiful thing. She's a beautiful person, inside and out. And she would help any one of you, wouldn't you agree? At a moment's notice. And I think we have a little video to show. So. The Kicksters are a dance line team from Brainerd High School, and last year they became national champions. Well, they are not competing in the na nationwide competition this year, but they have bigger fish to fry, as Jason Davis discovered when he went on the road again to Brainerd. And her friend Marnie Olson is studying to become a graphic artist. There's a lot of times where you're going, oh, why am I here? But it all pays off in the end. When you're dancing, it's, it all pays off. It's worth it. They are successful because they practice, practice, practice. That's my favorite. <laughs> I remember this parade. We danced, we marched in like three or four different towns. This was in Tokyo. That's a Tokyo toilet. That's Julie and Marnie. That was Taki Kobayashi. That's a director's convention in the early years. That's a Terry Lilly, Stacy, Marnie. <laughs> Marnie Roar, <laughs> Hall of Fame. I just want to thank Stephen Cindy, obviously. I don't have to tell you my history with them. I'm so sorry. Um, um, obviously, um, they changed my life. Um, I remember, I don't remember a lot. I don't do well with memory, but I do. <laughs> but I do remember um, being with Cindy at her house and we were talking about me moving to Austin and being a representative for them. And I was very scared. Like I said, I was like 24, 25, had just turned 25. And um, she said, you, you need to leave here. You need to get out from under my wing, I think is what her words were. And I, I remember that, that moment going in my head, okay, um, just because she said that. Um, <laughs> is that crazy? Um, funny memory um, of her teaching me when I was six. The only memory I have is when she was pregnant with Joel and she still was stretching on the floor. And I just remember, I remember looking at her going, that's even possible? Like you stretch when you're, like she was big. <laughs> she was like pregnant. But isn't that crazy? I remember that. Um, and I would just really like to um, thank really good friends, you know who you are, that support me. Jeez. Um, obviously my mom, because she is the one who started this and kept me going um, when I was little. Um, thanks to my husband, who I'm not, not even going to look at. Um, because obviously you guys know that, um, especially the years that I directed and was a rep, it was there were times that were very, very difficult. And I know for a fact I couldn't have done it without him watching the kids um, all those times. And my family, my girls that are here, I appreciate you too. Thank you. Um, and Gary Cowell, I, just, I don't know how you got here. <laughs> um, they surprised me over there and I came in and I, and they said, no, this is who's going to be at your table. And I said, God, I wish Carrie was here. 
<laughs> and I think somebody at the table got you here. So I really, really appreciate you um, also getting me through those years. I mean, I make it sound bad, but it's not, obviously, because I'm still here. Um, yes, the first year was really crazy. We were supposed to move down to Austin in August, and I was starting um, the program in September. And we lost the house we were supposed to rent like two days before we were going to move. Like the person didn't tell us we weren't going to get it. And we didn't know a soul in Austin, not one person. And um, long story short, I ended up driving to Austin the first two months of classes. Like I said, I didn't know anybody. I would drive there Monday, teach Monday night stay overnight in a hotel, teach Tuesday night, and then drive back to Brainerd, which is four hours. I'd get home at like 2 a.m. And I did that September and October, you guys. I don't know how I, I did that. Yes. Yes, thank you, hubby. <laughs> yeah, and we, um, we still did it. I mean, we still, we found, yeah, we, we, that's just crazy, right? Um, and it was probably one of the hardest years of my life. So if you're a turnover program person, have a hard time, come talk to me. Um, I know what that's like. And we probably are taking too much time. Thank you so, so, so much. I appreciate you. Good for Marty.